for Noah. Uh, just what's been the biggest adjustment to the college game? Uh, definitely the speed. Um, as far as defensive principles, they don't really change anywhere you go. Like they do slightly different types of defense, but really learning the offense and the speed of the game. <clears throat> for both, just what's the challenge of being a big in, in the NATO system and just kind of how does that challenge you? Oh, uh, I really, I mean, I really wouldn't even say it's a challenge. It's really more of a, you know, blessing because you, you got talented guards all around you. So, I mean, just, just, just being physical, making things happen, rebounding, just doing all the little things, blue collar points, like those are things that, that we, we try to make stand out to make it easier for everybody else. So that's what I would say. Yeah, to add on to that, like the um, the blue collar part, a lot of effort plays help your team win. Yeah, question for both of you guys: What are some of the things as you guys get close to the start of the season um, that you guys are trying to tune up, uh, just based off of scrimmages and heading into the scrimmage? Um, for, I would say uh, just being more physical, uh, just being more relentless, um, just just having that dog mentality, just you know having that presence down there. Um, and just you know, being being vocal leaders down there. So I mean, that's that's just big. That's just big for us. I would say. Mm, I take out of that the vocal part. I feel like we got to anchor the defense, being able to see everything. Um, so talk is big, and make sure everybody on the same page. <coughs> Another one for Noah. Just do you have any goals for your freshman year? Anything you want to achieve individually? Uh, I don't really have individual goals. Like, obviously, I want to play at the next level, but I want to win games. Uh, this question is for both guys. One of the topics at SEC Media Days from you know Gurley and 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 Chuck um, was you know trying to address complacency. Both of you guys are new to the team this year. Um, how do you guys address complacency, especially you know, and how much have you guys learned about you know the zero and four into last year, and how to try not to let that mindset carry over. Um, complacency, like, uh, I would say, like, this, it, it's, it's kind of hard to, to, to kind of express that because, I mean, a lot of us been to a lot of different places where it's, it was kind of hard to, you know, I mean, uh, well, for my, for my, for me, like, coming, like, from different schools and things, like, it's, it's kind of been hard to get the whole team to buy in. And, like, since I've been here, like, I just feel like everybody is, you know, bought in to, to one goal. So, I mean, that's, that's very, like, that's that's great. So I mean, I, complacency is is not something um, I, I don't really see on this team. Like I just feel like everybody is 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 on the same page. We got a lot of leaders. We got a lot of older guys. We have we have some younger guys that that that's all, that are leaders as well. So I mean, um, we we're, I feel like we're all we all are pushing in the right direction. Yeah, I don't think nobody like losing. I feel like everybody on the team that had a chance to feel what losing feel like in high school. I <clears throat> I lost my last two years. State championships, lost in the state, so like nobody likes to lose, and you know you can change that every day of practice. You don't win the day you out there. You win games when you practicing every day through the summer, through the fall. So, for both of y'all, how much have you guys leaned on you know Noah and and Charles just you know coming back and kind of kind of helping you get into the you know grind of the team, and then also getting used to this level. Um, both of them are um, great resources, like. Oh, how can I put it? Both of them are great resource for sure. Like any questions I have, I can ask them, talk to them about how I need to play certain things, how to take certain types of coaching. Like from a mental standpoint and playing on the floor, they're both like vocal. We all we all a family. We all together, so we all want to help each other. So definitely, and I'll say like just to add on like like on the court is like we're we're just as close off the court. So I mean like we can discuss, we can have those those parallel conversations. So like it's. It's easier when it when it comes to being on the court because they can say something quick and we just you know we just snap into it like yeah I got this I got you like we, we just don't like like letting each other down like so I mean we all like keep each other in this in this in this little box and you know just do what we gotta do for the team for sure. I wanted to ask you both about Brandon Miller just you know how difficult is he to guard in practice and just kind of what do you see out of his game? Um, I ain't gonna get into too many details. He's a bucket getter. That's that. Yeah, he's definitely a bucket getter. He's just he's he's talented, man. I I, I haven't I haven't seen a, a guy like that in a, in a long time. Like he, he's very different. I mean, he's he's gonna be very impactful for us. I mean, he's he's a leader. He's a freshman. I mean, this, he got a bright future for sure. He's one of a kind. 
you guys have played in several games now, whether on the foreign tour, you, you played at TCU, but are you looking forward to actually getting your first chance to play in front of Alabama fans this Saturday? Most um, definitely. I mean, I feel like we have, like, culture is the, the big word here. And I mean, playing in front of the, the fans here, like, I mean, I feel like it's going to be great. I mean, it's going to be a very energetic year. A lot of people are definitely going to be tuned. So, I mean, we're, we're definitely looking forward to all of it, for sure. Uh, as for me, I'm sure they're going to pack out the uh, Foster Gym for the exhibition. But I've never really played in front of a big crowd that I would see in type the arena or anything. So, like, I want to see what the support like, to be honest. Obviously, it's a lot of talent <laughs> from the freshmen all the way up to the, the seniors and graduate student players. Just how is it going into a season though you have a lot of depth behind you all up and down the roster? Hey, I'm, that's one thing. I, I love this question, I mean, because that's kind of one of the, the – the, one of the reasons I made the decision to come here, like I knew the depth was was deep, but like, I mean, I feel like coming here is gonna only get you better. <laughs> so like, if you surround yourself around great players, you only gonna become great. Like, so I mean, having the coaching staff that we have, like they all push us to to compete every day, and I mean that's only gonna that's gonna show at the end of the year. Like, it really will. One hundred percent, like that on that, like making my decision. I could have went other places where I knew for sure. They don't have nobody in my position I could start first year, but I came here because I felt like I would, surrounding myself with better players, I'd be better off in general. Good. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it.